welcome friends to our channel today we are going to discuss about the constructions and the optics of this channel's visual acuity chart very good afternoon i hope you all are seeing this picture on the screen this is the picture of the channel's chart and this chart is mainly used for the distance vision in visual acuity test and this chart is developed by the dutch ophthalmologist hermann snellen in 1862 and this chart is mainly used in case of the adult children for the school going children in the age of 5 to 15 years or more when we record the patient's visual acuity when we record the patient's visual acuity by the snell chart the distance between the the distance between the patient and the snell chart should be 6 meter distance and in the snell chart you all notice the number 60 36 24 18 so this 60 is the distance in meter So this 60 is the distance in meter, and by testing the visual acuity of that patient, we record the patient's visual acuity as 660 or 636 or 624, 618 for whatever it is up to 66 only. And we all know that the 6 by 6 is the normal vision. so now we have to know that what is the distance of 660 or 6 by 36 or whatever in this terminology 6 by 60 the 6 means the distance between patient and the chart and 60 that means a normal person can see the topmost letter from the 60 meter distance where a patient can see the topmost letter from the 6 meter distance i hope all of you are understand my point so this is the meaning of the 6 by 60 and now the question has arise in our mind that how we can see kibhabe amra dekhte pai we see a object suppose this is the object and this is our human eye so the question is that how we can see we can see an object if the light rays are coming from that object and making an angle of 1 minute of arc at our nodal point of the eye that means the light rays that means the light rays are coming from that object and making at the angle of 1 minute of arc at our nodal point of eye and if we want to visualize any object the light ray should make an angle of 1 minute of arc in our nodal point of eye so it is called as mar that means minimum angle of result resolution minimum angle of resolution this angle should be created between the object and our eye in this screen this is the again a picture of the snell chart and each letter that is a o x b t h all the letters of this snell chart are called as optotypes and each letter of this channel chart that a o x each letter has made by the 5 by 5 square that means vertically 5 square 5 small square 1 2 3 4 5 and horizontally 5 small square so each letter of the channel chart has made by the 5 by 
a large square and it has to be remembered that each small square that each small square suppose this square has sustained an angle of 1 minute of arc at our nodal point of the eye and the total square the whole square that means each letter sustained an angle of 5 minute of arc at our nodal point of eye here you see an example suppose it is a letter of the strenuous chart and it is 6 by 60 letter it this letter has divided into 5 by 5 square and each small square sustained an angle of 1 minute of arc and the total uh, and the total letter sustained an angle of 5 minute of arc this is the picture which you notice on the screen that means this is the object or this is the letter of the on the strenuous chart and this is our human eye this letter is made by 5 by 5 vertical 5 by 5 square and each small square subtend at angle 1 minute of arc at a nodal point of the eye and total letter subtend angle 5 minute of arc at a nodal point of eye. And a very very important thing is that when we see any object, suppose this is the octotypes of the strenuous chart at 60. So this letter subtends an angle of 5 minute of arc when is seen by 60 meter distance. Similarly, if this is the letter of 36 or 24, then the distance for creating the 5 minute of angle of arc should be 36 meter or 24 meter respectively. I hope you understand my question. Now you all see that in the strenuous start, the height and the size of the letters are decreasing chronologically from outwards to downwards. Now we have to know that what's the size of the strenuous optotype and what's the mathematical calculation behind this. So we have to know that trigonometric formula tan theta is equals to h by d where h is the height of the strenuous optotype and if we consider that the strenuous optotype is 6 by 60 the theta is 5 minute of arc the distance should be 60 meter so in this formula we have known all the value that is d is 60 meter and theta is 5 minute of arc so we have to evaluate the value of h so we come to know that what's the size of the strenuous optotype so for use by using this formula that is tan theta is equals to h by d where tan 5 by 60 now what is 5 by 60? We know that 5 minute of arc is equals to 5 by 60 degree. So 10 5 by 60 degree is equals to h by d. And from this value, we come as an height that h is equals to 8.726 centimeter. So from this calculation, we come to a conclusion that the 660 strenuous optotypes has an height of 8.726 cm when it is and sustained an angle of 5 minute of arc when it is seen at the distance of 60 meters. I hope all the points which I have made about the constructions and the optics of the strenuous chart has been clear to all of you. Thank you very much to all of you for watching this video and if you have any doubt regarding this topic please let me know by comment thank you very much